My dear students and parents in Jesus Christ, we have come to the second Sunday of Advent. The color of this season is purple. What does the color purple signify? The color purple signifies repentance for our sins and conversion of our hearts. Yes, it is only with a repentant heart we can better welcome Jesus into our hearts and to our homes at this Christmas. For this, we have the words of Prophet Isaiah mentioned in today's Gospel. Someone is shouting in the desert, Get ready the road for the Lord and make a straight path for the Lord to travel. Now, who is this person shouting in the desert and prepares a straight path for the Lord? He is none other than John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus. What is the essence of the message of John the Baptist to the people? Repent for your sins and be baptized. God will forgive your sins. Dear students and parents, another tragedy of the 21st century is the disappearance of the sense of sin, removal of the conscience of man and replace with the idea that man can do anything and everything he wants. He's a free man. These ideas can definitely remove the conscience of our present generation and take away from God. Let us not forget our God is a God of love, God of compassion and forgiveness. Therefore, let us not be ashamed and frightened to go to our God. He never gets tired of our sins. Jesus got denuded on the cross in order to clothe us with His love and mercy. God's love is greater than our sinfulness. Therefore, my dear parents and children, at this moment, if there is anything that is happening in your life that deviates you from the path of God, by way of words, thoughts, deeds, for that matter, even an addiction or a bad habit that you find it difficult to stop, offer it to the Lord today. He is waiting to make you free. As Catholics, we have the great privilege of the sacrament of confession. A good Catholic is a person who has the habit of regular confession. Teach your children to go for confession regularly. And you yourselves, be a parent who does the regular confession. If you are in an area that you cannot go to the church, at least say the prayer of the act of contrition and teach it to your children. God bless you.